and welcome to Rock Gamer. And I want to talk about a bit of news that I sort of uh, missed in my last update about Rock Band VR. So as you guys know, I did a video about the actual songs that were first announced for the game. Now, Harmonix did say in their blog post that uh, there's going to be uh, 39 remaining songs. So the, we should have about 50. They said there's going to be 60 songs, sorry, on Rock Band VR set list. And March 23rd is when the game comes out. This is the blog that Harmonix actually posted. And uh, the songs that aren't on Rock Band 4 are available in the music store. Uh, these ones should be finding their way uh, to Rock Band 4. So according to Harmonix, they said, keep an eye out. Some of these songs will be hitting Rock Band 4 in the future as DLC. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. They also talked about how Rock Band VR works and how the scoring actually works. So there's going to be three different skill levels. There's Rockstar, Virtuoso, and Monster. But before we talk about that, let's talk about the basics. So in Rock Band VR, they decided, they by Harmonix, decided that they didn't want to do the traditional Rock Band style of gameplay where you just, you know, uh, have the uh, highway running down the screen and you just beat match basically. Like you can still play it that way if you want, but that's not the core gameplay um, of Rock Band VR. So basically in Rock Band VR, you hold down a unique combination of fret buttons and strum and you get a unique guitar sound that matches the song. So you basically play different chords and uh, you get scored on how well it, you know, matches the song and that kind of stuff. So these are some of the uh, the different things you can do on the uh, guitar in Rock Band VR. They also talked about uh, the Rockstar mode. So in Rockstar mode, you'll basically need to organize chords into simple patterns as you play. The closest analogy to other games is a trick system in skateboarding or snowboard games. If you guys have played Tony Hawk or SSX, you basically need to you know chain tricks together to score. So this is an example of different chords you can maybe do in Rock Band VR. Uh, so I'm going to link to this blog if you guys want to read more about it. They also talked about Virtuoso mode. So Virtuoso mode starts with all the combo forming gameplay that is present in Rockstar and adds another layer of connection to the music and challenge. So the chord shape you form can only be can be on any fret button. So for instance, if you play a bar chord shape by pressing green, red, yellow, uh, red, yellow, blue, or yellow, blue, orange in Virtuoso mode, every time there's a chord change in the song uh, that you're playing, you need to shift your hand position in response to the chord change. They call these chord follows. It sounds a bit confusing. I've always been the kind of guy who basically learns by watching or doing. Um, but uh, they also talked about something called monster mode, which they hadn't previously revealed. So monster mode is, is easier to describe in that you have to handle, um, now that you have to handle the, the other modes, there are some nuances that are outside the scope for the most part. But monster mode is basically virtuoso mode without the visual cues from the song map. You have to form the combos and hit the chord uh, follow cues without any visual guide. So you basically just have to know the song. I guess the best way to compare this is, I guess if you played performance mode in any of the previous Rock Band games, it's kind of like that. So if you guys want to see the video on how Harmonix explains how uh, to play Rock Band VR, then I've linked to it down below in the blog post. You know what? I've been looking at some of the sales figures on Amazon, and it's not ranked very highly on Amazon in terms of you know the position of its sales. So I don't really know how well it's going to sell on Amazon. I mean, we can take a look at it right now, guys. I was just on Amazon looking for some books. So let's look for Rock Band VR. And, you know, you can actually buy Rock Band V. Actually, you can't even find it on the Canadian store, I guess. And maybe it's an American thing. So let's go to uh, Rock Band VR. And, yeah, you can see there's two versions. You can get the one with the PlayStation 4 bundle or the Xbox. And you can see the sales ranking of it, where it's, it's right now 4,469th in video games. So um, just for comparison, Rock Band 4, when it came out, was number one on this in this category. So I'm kind of curious how many copies they're going to sell, and I'm curious what the reviews are going to be like when it comes out. But let me know your guys' thoughts. As always, make sure you subscribe to my channel for all things related to the Rock Band franchise. Thanks for watching, guys, and have yourself a good day.